All right, so I got about 10 minutes to make this video, but I am on the road right now with track and I have obviously brought all the camera gear that I normally use. So this video is basically gonna be what's in my camera bag, camera case kind of video. I've made one before. It did pretty well for my channel and I thought I'd do it for, you know, a travel trip and on the road and show you what I actually bring with me. <laughs> so first, I'm gonna be going with the camera bodies. Obviously, it's gonna be the A7S III. I have a 24 to 105, not my lens, but I usually bring that lens or a 24 to 70, which is my lens, but I didn't bring that today because I needed a little extra reach with the 105, so I brought the 24 to 105. Next, for photo, I usually use either an A7 III, A1, but I did just get a new camera for myself, and it's the A7R5. I'm pretty sure you all know what the A7R5 is. It's the one with a really cool flip-out screen like the A9 III has now. This is my brand new camera. It's the first time I've... <laughs> this is the first time I've used it on a trip because uh, I just got it literally like the week of the trip. So it's pretty cool. It has a little flip out screen, has the little, um, this pull out, tip, tilt, whatever it's called. Very cool camera. Photos have been really good on it so far. Can't complain. I wish it shot at a higher like frames per second. This one only does up to 12 or so. 10 to 12 with the mechanical shutter. I think seven with the electronic shutter. If you shoot uncompressed raw, it has a lot of um, <laughs> warping in the photos. So that's a downside, but it is what it is. Also shoots 4K video, 60 frames, but this will be my secondary camera if I ever need it for video. But I will not be doing handheld because there's a lot of rolling shutter. So I'll just have it like on a tripod or something if I actually need it for video. I also did just sell my a7 III, which I didn't realize was going to be dumb of me because selling that, I lose a lens and now I have to buy another lens because I have two bodies and one lens. So yeah, love that. <laughs> Next to the mic, I've seen this in the what's in my camera bag video. Uh, it's the Deity D... V Deity? D it's a DD V Mic D3 Pro, I believe is what it's called. Again, Mike's been doing great for me. I actually did have to buy a new handle though for my camera. I was with the small rig handle for a while, but the grip on it ended up like sliding and it came like unglued. So I went with the Siri 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 handle, the SCTH handle. It's a NATO rail handle as well, but I did lose like the two side uh, cold mount shoes. But we got these locking ones now, so they're pretty good. I, uh, so far the handle's done you know, enough for what I've needed. I do wish it had the two other uh, mounts, but it is what it is. Now for the big boy lens, whenever I'm trying to get that reach, we got the Sony 70-200 f2.8. This is the version one. The version two is a lot lighter. I want the version two, but that is like $3,000 after taxes, and I just bought a $4,000 camera, so. Now, of course, we got the ZG Cine V-mount batteries. I love these V-mount batteries. They pretty much last me the whole track meet. If I need to, I'll just throw it on a charger for a little bit in between like events, but typically I don't really have to do that. And if anything, I always carry a second one. This is a V160, so it's like 160 watt hours. And then I have a V99, so 99 watt hours. And I barely use this one anymore. I literally use it to charge my laptop if there's no ports to charge. So if you need a power bank and a V-mount, these are perfect for that because it does the, the higher outputs. It's enough to charge a laptop. And obviously to connect those V-mounts, I'm gonna need the small rig V-mount plate. This is the, um, I don't know the model of it, but it's just a small rig V-mount plate. It's perfect for what I need because I don't like having rails and rails are just like a little bit extra stuff to have, have to carry. So this mount, this plate, works perfectly. Now, as a sports videographer, a lot of people say that you want to shoot the 180 degree roll, which is perfectly fine. Everybody should be shooting that, but I like to just crank the shutter sometimes because I like to get the extra sharp, like slow-mo and not with a lot of motion blur. But when I don't feel like doing that, like for golf, I'll throw a Peter McKinnon VND. This is the um, two to five stop VND. And of course, sometimes you need a step down ring. Uh, I say step down because this was going down, not up. And this one is for the 7200 and the 105 because they have a smaller ring. So I have to, you know, I only have one. <laughs> if I really wanted to, I should get a second one so I can swap the filter between each lens. But it is what it is. We go with one, we ball. Then we also have the one quarter mist filter i believe i only use this for like my youtube videos but i don't have it on here obviously like i probably should have put it on because i didn't think of it until right the second but i need to get this video done i literally have to pack up in like a couple minutes but let's go ahead and get to the monitor we have the atomos ninja v i put a dummy battery on here it's a condor blue one for like canon cameras i believe and i don't know what this port's for like i don't know what plug it takes Never used it, but I use this uh, D-Tap port to plug into the V-mount batteries because they're D-Tap. I could just, you know, use uh, the Sony batteries, but I don't really like carrying around the Sony batteries on the camera because they're just excess and they're kind of big and bulky and they just get in the way. So I just prefer to have the dummy battery and just plug it straight into the V-mount. Next, this is <laughs> the second one I had to buy because when I went to Texas Relays, 
I left one there. So this is the small rig sunshade. It connects to the cage that I did put on the Atomos. The cage is a little bulky in my opinion. I wish it was a little bit slimmer, but it has a couple mounts on it. Actually, it doesn't have any mounts on it. Well, it has like screw-in mounts, but it doesn't have any like cold shoe mounts or anything like that. You know, the sunshade works does what it needs to. It's only like 15 bucks. So when I had to buy a second one, it wasn't too bad, like hitting the pockets, but I just prefer not to buy a second one. But you know, it is what it is. And then of course the essentials, I have the Celsius packets. I also have some alpha brain memory and focus because sometimes I'll be getting some brain fog. So I have those, or if I need to work out, I'll hit the memory and focus because it's not caffeinated. And it just kind of helps me lock in a little bit more for my workouts if I'm really like needing something, but I don't always drink those. So yeah, I just keep them in here <laughs> because if I could in my backpack, I've had it to where the packets, especially the alpha brain ones, they like bust at the bottom. For some reason, they're like completely, like they're not sealed all the way. I mean, they are sealed all the way, but they pop very easily. So I put them in my camera case because I know they won't pop open in here because it's padded and there's not a lot of pressure at the top of the case. Of course, I have the extra stuff like the USB-C to USB-C right angle cables and then the right angle HDMI cables, but I don't really feel like those need to be mentioned a lot. And oh, uh, we got a little secret special guest in here. We have the Sony Cybershot. Uh, which one is this one? This is like a weird, weird name for it, but I don't really use this that often, especially not for sports. I've done it for basketball a couple times where I like, you know, connect it with the magic arm to my camera and it got me some cool video shots, but I never really used it. But yeah, this is the DSC W120 Super Steady Shot. The Sony Cybershot 7.2 megapixels. You have some really cool photos. I do have an Instagram where I post like all the photos and videos I like, take on this. So if you wanna follow that, it's like ericduran.jpg. Yeah, I know basic, but whatever. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice little, camera to carry around when you're with your friends and just you know vibing and just want to get some cool little aesthetic shots so yeah I get you a little digicam those are dope speaking of digicams I did pre-order the Fuji X106 back in February and it's currently May 24th I was on Adorama and it said my, my uh, charge was declined and I'm like how it, it's been holding the money since I've pre-ordered turns out the the charge expired so I had to like reorder it but apparently they kept my line in place and they're supposed to start shipping out this first of June if it doesn't I'm gonna be very mad because I've been waiting since February for that camera if I don't get it it's gonna hurt because I literally bought it pre-ordered it so I'd have it a lot sooner but you know I guess when you pre-order stuff it doesn't mean you're gonna get it when it drops who would have thought but yeah that's pretty much it the mic I'm using is the Tinnacle sync mics not usually the mics I would bring I would bring the Sony UWP systems the reason I didn't bring it is because the body pack and the receiver are huge so it would literally take up the whole like spot right here I probably could have made it work put it in my backpack but my backpack is literally filled to the brim so I don't have anything in there so I just went with the Tinnacle syncs because they're small compact and fit in this little two inch spot so that's worked out for me also i did just buy the m4 ipad pro literally love that thing i had the five inch ipad air before sucked i mean it didn't suck but the screen it like when you press it with the pencil it would like bloom really bad so the ipad pro doesn't do that obviously the past couple ipad pros don't do it but the m4 is fast it connects pretty seamlessly to my macbook without having it to be hardwired so yeah that's a plus but yeah that's pretty much the end of this video oh i guess i can't forget about the case i'm using the nanook 935 yeah nanook 935 it's a very good case um i haven't had any issues with it the wheels do mess up if you drive it through like you know bad terrain so the, the wheels kind of warp but you can replace those they're not that expensive it's like 30 something dollars i think yeah i got a couple stickers on if you can see but I got a couple travel stickers on here for like everywhere I go. So got to get one for this trip. I can't forget to do that. And yeah, this was a uh, pretty much what's in my camera bag, camera case type of video. I hope y'all enjoyed. And I told you this was going to be a quick video. Hope you enjoyed and I'll catch y'all later. Bye.